Welcome to the Big Data NBA educational video series. And this is episode nine on the digital transformation value creation mapping. What this episode is about is how do organizations go about identifying, codifying, and operationalizing the source of the customer product and operational value within a continuously learning and adapting technology environment and culture, human culture as well. Um, this slide actually corresponds to figure 8.9, which is in chapter eight of my new book, The Economics of Data Analytics and Digital Transformation. But you'll notice this, this um, image is slightly updated and hopefully this video will explain why I made the tweaks that I made. So there are four stages that organizations must go through in order to create value, to transform their organizations digitally around value creation. The first phase is how you go about identifying the source of the value creation. And this is all about really understanding your customer. So customer journey maps and service designs and personas and stakeholder maps. This is stage one here is, or phase one here is the, is the integration of design thinking with economics. And you can see from this example here, we want to identify the customer journey even before they interact with our company and well after they interact with our company. We want to understand the, the epiphany moment as when they decide they're going on this journey. When is the, the time when they, when they engage with our product and services and get value and then afterwards. And you'll notice here what we want to do in this, in this particular stage here is you want to identify both the sources of value creation, the things in the green arrow. These are decisions or action that the customer is making that has high value to them. But we also want to identify the, the impediments to value creation, the, the, the red down arrows, because not only do those impede value realization and creation, but they can offer up opportunities for new monetization opportunities, because in many situations, you can actually create services to monetize the pain. So stage one is you need to understand the source of the value creation, and that means you need to understand your customer's journey intimately. Number two is to codify those sources of value creation. And this is all about data science. This is about um, AI and ML or machine learning. This is about building um, uh, reusable, continuously learning and adapting analytic assets. This will take those analytic assets will take the form of analytic profiles, which are the detailed profiles we build on individual humans, consumers, doctors, technicians, um, operators, as well as individual devices, wind turbines and, and compressors and chillers and clutches, right? And so there's the analytic profiles and then the analytic models or modules themselves that are engineered to be continuously learning and adapting. So the codifying stage here is all about data science, not just about building models, but about engineering models and analytic profiles or asset models that we can use to help capture all those insights about where customers are building value. Number three here is about operationalizing this. Now think about this as Michael Porter value chain analysis. But now we want to take the insights we've gained about our customers, our products, and our operations, and we want to work those into our operations. We want to figure out where we need to put those customer and operational and product insights and propensities, inclinations, and tendencies. How do we put those and leverage them into our operational system so we're optimizing all of our key operational processes and in the process, even capturing additional data about the customer experience and the product performance, which brings us to step four, which is really maybe the most important step here, the most differentiated step, I would say, is how do you instrument the environment so that you're continuously learning and adapting from every customer engagement and every operational transaction? How are you instrumenting this, the, your environment so you're continuously learning and adapting? Now, you will certainly think about AI and machine learning and things like reinforcement learning when you're trying to build analytic modules and asset mo uh, uh, analytic profiles that are continuously learning and adapting. But there's also another portion of this. This is around the human. You also have to empower humans to be continuously learning and adapting. And when you do that at stage four to create both a technology environment based on AI, ML and reinforcement learning with a human environment where your frontline employees, your people who are talking to customers who are running the operations are also continuously learning and adapting. When you bring those two together, the, the AI, ML technology environment with the empowered humans, that's where you get that differentiation. Because what happens, the key to success in digital transformation is the ability to leverage customer product and operational insights buried in the data to create this culture and environment of continuously learning and adapting. Because in the end, 
in a digital transformation world in knowledge-based industries, those companies that learn and adapt faster win. Thanks for listening.